What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Ginger Man Cards. Hope you're all really, really well. Uh, Sunday the 20th of June um, and first I should apologise for the lack of content. I think I'm apologising to myself rather than uh, you guys because you guys are great. But um, yeah, I've had a super, super busy uh, week at work. I've recently moved branch, a bit, bit of a promotion I guess you could call it. And uh, yeah, I've been absolutely knackered every day, so I've not even thought about kind of um, creating any content. So yeah, sorry about the lack of content, but I promise there will be more uh, next week. Um, but today, thought I'd mix it up a little bit, and I um, think this makes sense in terms of timings, um, especially with uh, recent sales of big Marvel cards, in particular PMGs, baby. And uh, if you don't know by now, that's Precious Metal Gems. I'm sure you do. You watch this channel. Yeah, you watch, you know, Spidey G. You watch uh, Sketch Card Hive. You know, the big dogs in the game. Um, you've, you've heard all about PMGs. And um, if you're in the kind of sports card world, you definitely know about PMGs. So I thought I'd just have a look at, uh, in my normal kind of format, in my uh, market updates that I do every week. And um, that will be posted on a separate video because completely different set of cards, completely, you know, just completely different. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd do kind of look at recent sales. There's been quite a few in the last three, four, five days. Um, although I've not posted any content, I'm always watching. And I don't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> I just mean like I'm watching what's happening, uh, you know. Instagram's great. You can see what's popping. You can see what's going on on eBay. You know, look at sales and things like that. So yeah, always watching what's um, what's going on. But yeah. Um, so just going back to the big sales uh, recently. I can't remember what it is now. I'm going to say a month ago now. Three weeks, maybe a month. Um, so we had the big sale um, of Spider-Man cards. In particular, the big one. So sold for twenty-eight thousand dollars, and that was a green. PMG Spider-Man out of uh, 10, numbered out of 10, um, and yeah, the most expensive card to date. Hopefully that's not changed since uh, the last time I took did a video. Um, so yeah, just thought it'd be an interesting time to have a look at what's been selling recently. Has has that had any impact? It's really hard to tell, to be fair, so um, I can't answer that question just yet, but um, let's get into it. So... First thing, um, there's a couple of bids, a couple of um, cards that are listed that have many bids on. So you can see this one on the left here, 2017 um, Spider-Man PMG, PSA 8, Pop 2. And that's a blue, so color blue, and that's uh, numbered out of 49. Um, so currently, the price is at $2,025, 20 bids. Um and I believe that finishes 11 p.m. 20th of June. So I've got a bit of time yet, but there you go. Um, so some other stuff that's happening. Uh, the You can see here, PMG, green one. And I can't even see who the character is. I want to say Apocalypse or was it Thanos? I don't know. Anyway. Um, so serial number two out of ten is going at three hundred five dollars with ten bids, and that ends tomorrow. And you've got Ant Man two thousand fifteen Marvel Fleer Retro, um, red, which is out of a hundred. Uh, serial number twenty eight, currently at thirty eight dollars. So still low, but there's a bit of time on left left on that because that finishes twenty second. Uh, so yeah, there are a couple. There are more, which I'll go into in a minute. Um, what I should just say is I'm going to have a look at the population reports for PSA and BTS for uh, the 2013 Marvel Fleer Retro PMG cards. Just thought it'd be interesting. Uh, I actually don't know where they're at and yeah, what, what's happening there. So I thought it'd be a good learning opportunity for you and for me. And that's what I'd like to do here on this channel is, you know, I'd like to learn with you and hopefully that provides some good value for whatever reason you may watch this. So let's get into the recent sales. So the first one, which I cannot work out why, and by the way, I just pop all this stuff off. I don't prepare any of this, so I just pop it all up on the screen 
have a quick gander. By gander, I mean look. Uh, um, and yeah, just go straight into it. So for some reason, I can't get the best offer accepted price for this Captain America card. So it's a raw Captain America card. So 2013, the, the first PMG, Marvel Fleer Retro. And it's red, so out of 100. Um, and I believe they took a best offer. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess around 1,000. But who knows? So, good price though. Good price. But again, that's a set to go for, man. 100%. Like that. This card here, the green. That's going to go, I reckon, probably over 500 minimum. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so 2017 Fleer Ultra Spider Man. Um, hang on a second. Why have they put a Spider Man in it? It's Daredevil. So, PMG again, out of 49, so it's a blue one. $90 sold for. That was yesterday, it's the 19th of June. Um, Doctor Doom 2013 one again. PMG, and that's out of 100 because it's a red. 279 so again, a good price. I don't know what the condition's like. Uh, again, with these cards, guys, very hard to grade. And you'll see by the population reports why. Um, and the yeah, the the thicker cards, surface issues are ridiculous. As I said in previous videos, I've got um, a few 2017 cards because I can't afford anything else, <laughs> and um, I'm not you know uh, I'm not afraid to say that <laughs> is what it is right now. Um, but yeah, they're they're extremely hard to grade, and uh, I'm currently having I'm currently holding mine raw, and probably will for. A while until we know what's happening with the the grading companies as as um you know they're both shut the main ones so PSA and BGS currently still shut no update currently on that side of things which is annoying um so yeah Doctor Doom 2013 279 dollars which is wicked uh, another Doctor Doom so the blue so you got the red there which is out of 100 you got the blue which is out of 50 and that's off of three nine nine, so three hundred ninety nine dollars for that. So again, quite a step up, you know, around a hundred um, for the uh, out of fifty, which is great. So two thousand seventeen Fleer Ultra. Don't mind saying this again. Two thousand seventeen PMG Punisher out of forty nine, which is a blue again. That's off one hundred fifty nine dollars. So these, again, these are all raw currently, so not graded. Um, 2017 uh, Fleet Ultra Spider Girl PMG, the bronze. So the bronze is there out of 199, uh, and that is yeah, that's card number 87. So serial number 87 out of 199, sold for 25 dollars. Again, don't know about the condition, but not bad. Um, this is a, a good deal, and I just wanted to have a have a look, Let's see what I can find. So this is a Storm, Gambit, and Cyclops. So these are 2015 cards. Uh, condition looks okay. Scratches on the case, but you know. So yeah, that is a nice lot of three from the 2015 set PMG. So they're all red, so out of 100. Each one out of 100, so that helps solve $134.99, which is... Very good price, in my opinion. Again, the condition looked okay from that. I didn't go into detail, but that's an absolute steal, in my opinion. Uh, 2018. These have been. I've seen a bit of traction on these. I have to admit. So, these are 2018 Marvel Fleer Ultra. So these are the X Men ones. Um, so this is the Mystique Bronze out of 199, and that's off for thirty dollars. So. These are popping. Uh, these are a play right now, and you can find them fairly cheap. Again, uh, as always on this channel, um, this is purely my opinion, uh, speculative. Always do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. Blah 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 blah. So yeah, wicked cards. Um, also, we got the uh, metal X Men ones coming very soon. I believe they're all being or oh, they're pre-ordered. 
pre-orders are finished, stuff like that. People are getting hold of the boxes. So I haven't seen any yet. Again, I've been out of the loop slightly for a week. I've been watching things, but I might have been out of the loop. Um, so yeah, let me know down below what's what's going on with the uh, the new metal cards, the X-Men ones. Uh, so let's go down to Rhino. So 2017 out of 99. That's a bit, that should be one... Yeah, $15 for that. So Rhino PMG out of 99. Uh, again, 2015 set now, Sabretooth out of 100, $60. Not bad. Uh, Phoenix, so as I just mentioned, X Men 1 again, 2018, Fleet Ultra, Metal 34.99. So quite a few of these. Uh, Alchemy, $16, and that's the bronze out of 199. Uh, Magic, sixteen dollars out of one nine nine again, and that's X Men. Uh, out of ninety nine, Stepford Cuckoos, uh, and that was over fifteen dollars. Two thousand seventeen PMG again, Black Widow out of one nine nine, forty dollars. Um, so what I would say is round from based on what I know and. But that's what I talk about is what I know and I'm not going to talk about stuff I don't know um, that was selling for around 20 to to $30 around a month ago as a rough as a rough guide uh, I know that because I bought some cards uh, for those kind of prices so definitely crept up a bit uh, again that's not massive but I hope that gives you some indication at least uh, name or God damn, I've got to do the video. So I said on the last video, I'm going to do a video on Namor this week. I'm definitely going to do it on Wednesday by the latest. I'm telling you right now, you need to buy this guy. If you're in it for investment, flipping, you've got an opportunity here. And again, purely my opinion, but seriously. And I'll tell you why in the next video. Oh, that's a cliffhanger right there. Um... <laughs> So PMG uh, 2015 out of 50. Namor, $135. Decent price. Yeah, really decent price. They put it on for two, 249, took a best offer for 135. So not bad at all. Um, so Let There Be Carnage, Venom 2013. So the, the big set right now, the hot set for obvious reasons. Uh, so a red numbered out of 100. Uh, serial number 49 sold for 399. Um, and that's a wicked card. I uh, probably should show you this. <laughs> I love when they put near mint to mint. <laughs> um, to be fair, it's in good shape. It's a weird looking um, Venom card, but See the back, can you see the top? So you see the top of that whitening and the, and the back of that right side whitening, back of the left side whitening. <sighs> it's tough, man. These are tough cards. Yeah, if you had to get them graded, I mean, yeah. Generally, they, you know, in terms of grading, they, I've heard they focus on the front, but things like that will, uh, definitely affect the great so yeah cool card but interesting um so a couple of cool another cool um doctor strange cards so 2015 this time pmgs so you got a red um and you got a blue and that's all for 500 and let's have a look at that sorry guys i'm just gonna double check what we're looking at yeah, I love this card. It's wicked, isn't it? Kind of like a god. I mean, Doctor Strange is a god, but... You know what I mean? So you got an out of 100, which is the red, and an out of 50, which is the blue. Nice. Uh, and then, same again below. Out of 100, $250. Wicked. Uh, Green Goblin, 2015. Um, out of 50 for the blue. Sold for 175. 
Uh, another X Men Kitty Pride out of a one nine nine bronze, fifteen dollars. Uh, two thousand fifteen Thor Red, and I'll just click into this as well. People have been getting steals on these seriously. Absolute steals. That's a wicked card, isn't it? You got so you got Wolverine and the Loki. They didn't even put Loki in the title, man. What the? F what are you doing? As a seller, what are you doing? <sighs> Blows my mind. Anyway, this is in the midst, in the midst, in the mid, in the middle, <laughs> in the middle of Loki uh, series on Disney Plus. If you guys haven't seen it, have a look. It's great. Um, it's slow. It's a bit of a slow burner, I would call it. But I've been loving it. I'm loving the, um, and I don't want to spoil anything in case any of you haven't watched it or plan to watch it. But uh, it's about to kick off, man. It's going to kick off in episode three for sure. I also love that it's on a Wednesday. Love that midweek. It's like yes, come on, something great to look forward to. So yeah, loving the loving the series so far. Uh, sorry, I've got off a tangent here, but that's cheap, man. You got a Loki and a Thor card, one hundred fifty dollars PMG, two thousand fifteen. Reds, yes, I know, out of 100, but <sighs> steel. Absolute steel. Uh, so, big card below. Blue, out of 50, Thor. 2013 PMG, $1,625. So, again, not graded, guys. If that's a good shape, if, uh, <laughs> right, if any of these are in good shape, and I'm going to put this out there because fuck it. It's the truth. If any of these in decent shape, and when I say decent shape, I mean PSA 7, 8, 9, BGS 8.5, 9, 9.5. If you get them graded at that and you bought it for these prices, you're, <laughs> you're gonna make you're gonna make some money if you plan to sell, which I very much doubt any of you will, because you'd be silly to, but you you know, you easily could. And again, um before I get shot down by anyone, this is purely my opinion, but I really, I can see it a mile off, and anyone can. So, yeah, that's a great price for a Thor, man. That set is on fire, Thor's a big character, you've got Ragnarok coming out soon, you know, Marvel's not going anywhere, we talked about that, for, you know, a lot, but there's going to be more movies, there's going to be more more things happening. Do you know what I mean? Just great. Absolutely great. Oh, my God, man. So I'm going to show you these. <laughs> this blows my mind. It really does. This can't be someone who's sold a lot of stuff. 2,000 for feedback. So the first picture, guys, and... I like, to, I like to think I know eBay pretty well. I've done a lot of reselling in my time, so I know the score. Uh, I don't do it so much now. I don't have time. But the photos the photos are so important. And this isn't, this isn't a lesson, but <laughs> um, the photos are just so key. So keywords, photos. So the last one, so I think it's the same seller. Didn't even put Loki in the title. That's a big no-no right now. It's such a key word, man. If, like, oh, I can't begin to describe, but. The thing is with this, either they've messed it up or, you know, they obviously don't by mistake, but <laughs> you've got three cards here, 2015. The first picture is of the back of the cards. Now, I'm not saying, you know, I'm sure there are many, many Marvel uh, guys out there that know, oh, that's clearly a PMG. But there are also many, many, many people out there that do not have a clue until they see the front of this. So if you're looking at a whole load of listings for PMGs, you sure as hell ain't going to click something that looks like that. I mean, I know, and as I just said, many of you will know, that's the back of the PMG card. But if you're quickly scrolling through, I'm doubtful that people will look at that. Hence the price, maybe? $49 for three PMGs, 2015, you know, Storm, Cyclops, Gambit. I'm pretty sure I already looked at this listing. So what's happening here? Am I am I missing the point here? I'm going to go back up because I'm sure we just looked at that. 
Yeah, so there you go. So exact same listing we just looked at. I don't understand. What, exact same pictures? Yeah. So that's card number six. I'm just double checking here, guys. I don't want to piss any of you off, but 65 out of 100 for that storm. So let's just check. Let's just check this. Oh, you. Nothing like a bit of live action. I'm not going to edit this. So. so 65. 65. So what's going on here? Don't get it. If they've, if they've, I'm going to swear again, I'm sorry um, if this offends any of you. If they fucked up and listed it too low or taken a best offer too low and then for, or someone cancelled it and then relisted it later for the above price, which was 134, surely, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to let this person off if that's the case. <laughs> Just ripped into their photos and titles, but... um. Yeah, anyway, let's skip that. I'm sorry. Um, right, Magneto, 2015. Big character. Um, I'm about to get my hands on a Magneto um, uh, Hollow from um, Grady Gamer. If you don't know Grady Gamer, you need to uh, check check um, check her stuff out. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, yeah, buzzing. Um, hopefully, I can get that soon once I've tied the deal. But yeah, Magneto, 2015 PMG out of 50 again for that's a blue. $350. Nice. Uh, Punisher. So uh, this is from the 2013 set. Out of 100. Red, obviously, $250. Again, I think that's a really fair price, man. I'm not, I'm not looking at condition. So um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that too much, but that's a really cool price, man. Um, $86 for a um, 2017 Iron Man PMG, so bronze out of 199 Couple more X-Men's, which are sold for reasonably low, which is interesting. Uh, nice Moon Knight card, so I wish I got this one. So I could have got this one for well under 100 in the blue. So I'm pissed off about that. But that's what happens. Um, 2017 Blue Moon Knight. Uh, so that's out of 49 sold for $170. Uh, just below, same set, so 2017 again. Really cool card with Deadpool. Kind of like, yeah, kind of a cool click of his fingers. Kind of look like it. Um, so it's out of 199 so a bronze. Falcon, um, PMG from 2015, out of 172 Okay, first graded card so far. So 2017 Marvel Spider Girl PMG uh, out of 49 blue. So that sold for, and that was a PSA 9, so really, really good grade considering these cards. Uh, $485, so PSA, uh, PSA 9 and pop of 1. So um, they sure made a profit. If they bought that raw and got it graded, um, I don't know what level they got it graded, but there you go. Great example right there uh, of potentially a flipper. Could be a collector, you know, looking to move cards to get into something bigger. It could be anything, but yeah, just uh, interesting to look at, isn't it? I guess. Uh, so Loki again, really hot right now. Uh, 2017, 2015, sorry, PMG out of 100, so red, $130. Again, 2015, Captain America out of 100, red, $345. So again, character, uh, fan favourites, etc. Uh, so another graded one, which was PMG 2015 this time, PMG red, PSA 9, pop 2, 1,691. So uh, again, going back to the big... Big sales of these cards, so one the gold one, which is one out of one, I believe. Um, that sold for a massive chunk. So yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I don't think that's that expensive. Uh, obviously, it is a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money for me. But for this card, man, no brainer, no brainer. Uh, so more 
I'm going to skip that one. The 2013 PMG. So there's a red. I'll just show you. Click into this one because there's the set of three domino. So you got a red, you got a green, you got a blue. So wicked, wicked, wicked cards. Um, <laughs> just really cool, isn't it? And this is going to happen a lot, I think. So 2,750 for those three cards. That is crazy. Um, oh, I just thought this was interesting. Hopefully I can pick this up in the um, normal Marvel market update video. So 2016 MM Marvel Masterpieces Battle Spectre Gems complete set out of, out of 99. 1,500. Absolute steal. I'll just show you quickly. I'm sorry, this is a PMG video, but <laughs> they put PMG in the title. That's funny. Look at these, man. Look at these. I just think they're so cool. You see the backs? They are PMGs. What am I talking about? Yeah, 2016 Marvel Masterpieces. Of course they are. Wicked. Absolutely wicked. <laughs> okay, so... 2013 Daredevil. Blew out of 50, $115. Um, and I want to show you this one. So... I'm not sure I ever covered this. 2013 set. And there were uh, how many cards? I may have... May or may or not, I don't know. Anyway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and two raw cards. So six graded cards and two raw cards. <laughs> uh, sold for 15,000. So you got a Thanos. So all 2013, so the big set Thanos, uh, PSA 7, PSA 8, Deadpool, Wolverine, PSA 8, Captain America, PSA 8, Iron Man, PSA 9. Um, Venom, PSA 7, and then you've got a Raw, uh, Apocalypse, and something else which I can't see because the lighting. That's annoying. Let's see what it says below. Silver Surfer, cool. So it's a red Silver Surfer out of 100, yeah. So all these cards sold for $15,000, man. 15,000 and rightly so like a hundred percent that is massive isn't it but yeah we're looking back at May now so uh, <laughs> you can see some of these other cards but I'm sure I picked up on some of these already so yeah, wicked, 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 wicked. So let's get into the PSA pop report. So I just want to focus on the 2013 set and just give you a, a kind of quick overview of uh, the grading aspect because, you know, I'm I'm going to keep mine raw. Most people will, but just thought I'd, you know, uh, just have a look at this and see what's going on really. Um, so currently 98 cards graded um, in this set. Only seven of the 98 are PSA 10. Wow. Crazy. Um, so the majority of them are at, uh, interesting, PSA 9 and an 8. So that's where the majority of the cards are at. I would say a BGS 9.5 would fetch more money, naturally. Um but yeah, interesting. So you've got Invisible Woman, and it tells you the the colour of the card. So Spider-Man Green. Also you've got one PSA ten out there. Um four reds. Uh and one blue, which is a seven. So again, you never know, man. You never know with these cards. You can see. Magneto two blues and the PSA 7 one green 
out of 10, by the way. Uh, one PSA 10 green magneto. That is sick. Uh, wicked. Ooh. Apocalypse Mystique. I'd love a Mystique card. Um, PSA 9 blue and uh, PSA 8 red. So, yeah, interesting, man. Interesting. So, yeah, that's the PSA pop report. And then I wanted to show you. So, P BGS, break it down by the color. So, the first color, which is blue, which is out of 50. I want to start with the red, actually. Let's start with red. So, out of 100. So, you have a total of. Uh, 11 9.5s currently no 10s 13 nines and two 8.5 so again massively massively low again they're, they're serial numbers most people have them raw but massively low pop so that's the red um, so total of 26 cards in the red from BGS uh, total of 57 cards of the greens, so out of 10. Wow. But again, nines is where the majority are at. So 33 nines, 14 9.5s, and nine uh, eights, no, 8.5, sorry. And then you've even got a couple of sn oh, sneaky one, which is a. Uh, 7.5 so again not not an awful grade at all for pmg but um yeah so those two 9.5s uh well that one's sold for fortune i'm pretty sure wicked i mean that is the one that sold for the fortune <laughs> um so let's go into the blue now so out of 50 so total of 36 card graded, only 5 at 9.5. Um, 18, so the majority of the cards are at a 9. 6 are at 8.5, 3 at 8, 2 at 7.5, 2 at 6.5. So, um, yeah, wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. So you can see, guys, you can see the rarity, you can see the scarcity, sorry, um, of these cards and why why they're fetching such, demanding such high prices and will continue to be. Really, really do. I oh, yeah, know. It's clear to see. Um, so let's have a look at currently what's selling or what's on the market right now in terms of uh, raw and then, you know, it might be some graded in here. So... There's one thing I just wanted to show you, and hopefully this helps any of you new guys out there. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm an expert, I'm far from it. I'm still learning, and I'm quite open and honest with that. Um, but this seems like a steal, right? Iceman, really cool. Uh, cool card, so it's out of 100, so it's a red 2015 PMG. Looks pretty good to me. I'd be like, yeah, why not? Let's have a look at the, the condition, okay? So you can see... The, I mean, if you're doing this just to collect and you love these cards, absolutely, you know, no doubt about it. But if you're doing this for an investment purpose or even as a character collector or, um, you know, you just want some really nice Marvel cards, you need to be careful. So look at that right corner. Can you see that white, the white on the right corner there? That's just the start of the issues. Dot just above the Iceman writing. I'm pretty sure that is on the card itself. You can see the right-hand corner there, battered. Left-hand corner, I think, is whitening as well. Uh, to me, it looks like a lot of surface issues, potentially. It's only in a top loader, so I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, back of the card, uh, it's lots of whitening on the corners there again. Um, and on the sides. So, yeah. Why is it cheap? It's not in great condition. So yeah, just be very, very careful. It's really hard to. It's really, it's really hard. Like you know, 
I've done it before. I've been stung before uh, buying a car that I thought was an absolute bargain. Got sent to me and uh, it wasn't in great condition. So, yeah, just um, a word of advice. I mean, you don't have to listen to me, but <laughs> um, some other cool cards here. So you can see a blue Punisher PSA 10. Uh, selling for 1439 which is a weird price uh, or best offer I can hear people above me and it's very weird 2013 Fleer Retro Blue PNG so uh, Miss Marvel so that's a wicked card Four hundred thirty-four dollars raw. <laughs> uh, Magneto red out of a hundred. I mean, let's have a look at the condition. Fourteen watches. That's going to go. It's going to go soon. Nick on the left hand side. You can see there, but in general, ugh, look at the back of that horrible and the horrible photo, but. Wicked card though, but nevertheless. Um another X-Men Deathlock card. 394. <laughs> so that's a green, so it's out of 25, which is wicked. I'll probably do a separate video on these this set because they're pretty cool. Um $394 or best offer for those. Plenty of blues. Cyclops blue 2013. So again, it's got ding in the title itself. So stay away from things like that if you're buying. Uh, Rhino 2017. Again, I, I I think you know if you can get. You know Rhino's not a big character, not well known, but it's worth considering. Um, so yeah, this is wicked. So Deadpool 2013. This will this will sell for sure, and um, I'll make sure I watch this. But so it's a BGS nine, so blue out of fifty, great grade PWCC. So a lot of people looking at these cards. Deadpool's very popular, I and mean, I've talked about this before. But there's likely to be the the next movie coming soon. Just wicked. And you've also got Iron Man. Out of 50, BGS 9. Which is wicked. <laughs> Sorry, I can hear. I swear, right, I'm going to say this quietly. I swear I can hear people banging upstairs. So I live on the ground floor of a flat. Uh, there's only two, guys, two people above me. But um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I am not a professional uh, YouTuber, am I? By any chance, any, um, sorry, I, can't, I don't even know what to say right now. I swear, I can hear people banging. Definitely can. Um, I'm completely put off and I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm now going to um, probably end this video because I'm... Um, I feel like I'm blushing a little bit and um, I feel like I'm not going to talk any sense whatsoever. So, yeah, some wicked cars currently out there, PMG-wise. Hopefully this has given you a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of overview of PMG and what's going on right now. Um, I'm sorry I've been distracted. <laughs> um, I'm sure you'd be the same. But, yeah, I wish you all the best on this Sunday. Uh, and there's going to be some definitely more content coming soon. And um, yeah, have a good day, guys. Thanks you for watching. Please do like, subscribe. That means the world to me. Uh, there's been a lot of new subscribers recently. So thank you. Um, thank you very much. And um, yeah, have a good day, guys.